To begin, perform hand hygiene and ensure patient privacy. Before you feed a patient, verify the healthcare provider's diet order. Mr. Mitchell. Hi. My name is Gina. I'll be your nurse today. Okay. Introduce yourself to the patient and identify the patient using two identifiers. Can you tell me your name? Jerry Mitchell. Date of birth? August 11th, 1938. Okay. Now it's time for us to get you ready for dinner. Have you been feeling sick to your stomach? No. Are you passing gas? Yes. Make sure he is free of nausea, can pass gas, and has a gag reflex. Open wide. Ah. Uh. Very good. Okay, now next I need you to take a small sip of water, okay? Mm -hmm. Check the condition of his teeth or make sure his dentures fit properly. Then check for bowel sounds in all four quadrants. Okay. Find out if he can feed himself and ask what his appetite's been like. Okay, sounds good. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay, are you able to feed yourself? I have difficulty sometimes using a knife and fork. Okay, that's no problem. I'll help you. Thank you. Prepare the patient's room for mealtime and clear a spot for the food tray. Okay, Mr. Mitchell, we're going to get you up in a chair. Help the patient into a comfortable sitting position in a chair. If the patient can't sit up, place the bed in the high fowler's position or turn him on his side with the head of the bed elevated 45 to 90 degrees. Assist the patient with elimination if necessary. We're going to stand up first, make sure you're not dizzy, and then we're going to the chair, okay? Okay. Remember to help him put on his glasses and put in his dentures, if he wears them. Then help the patient with hand hygiene. This is Jerry Mitchell. Okay, so this is your tray. Okay. Ask him in what order he wants to eat the meal and which seasonings he'd like. Is that what you order? Yep. Would you like some lemon on Please. your fish? Help him cut his food into bite-sized pieces if he can't do so himself. Use the adaptive eating and drinking aids needed according to your assessment, such as a two-handled cup with a lid, a plate with a plate guard, utensils with splints, or utensils with oversized handles. If your patient is disoriented, visually impaired, or easily fatigued, identify foods for him by locating the items as if the plate were a clock face. Here, for example, green beans are at 12 o'clock, fish is at 6 o'clock, and the lemon is at 9 o'clock. If the patient needs assistance, feed him in a way that makes chewing and swallowing easier. If he's an older adult, offer small amounts of food at a time. Watch him bite, chew, and swallow, and be aware of his level of fatigue. Be sure he swallows the food between bites. Okay, so you did good with the eggs. How about some fruit? Okay. If your patient is neurologically impaired, give her small bites of food. Assess her ability to chew, manipulate her tongue to form a bolus, and swallow. Check her mouth to see if she's pocketing any food in her cheeks. Mm. Okay, open your mouth. Very good. During the meal, give your patient fluids as requested. Encourage her not to drink all the liquid at the beginning of the meal. Very good. Talk with your patient as she eats. Use the meal as an opportunity to educate her about topics such as following a healthy diet. Open your mouth, please. Very good. 
Assist the patient with hand hygiene and mouth care after he eats. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to get Ask the patient if he is comfortable in the chair or prefers to return to bed. If he would like to return to bed, help him into a resting position, leaving the head of the bed elevated 30 to 45 degrees for 30 to 60 minutes after the meal. Okay, there's your magazine. Thanks very much. And don't forget, if you need me, your call light is right there. I won't. Okay. Okay, thanks again. You're welcome. Then perform hand hygiene. As part of your follow-up care, record the percentage of the meal your patient ate and, if necessary, the calorie count. If you're monitoring I and O, record the patient's fluid intake in the EMR. Document any swallowing difficulties or refusal to eat.